All right, so I want to do some calculations with complex numbers. And the first one is just given that Z1 is 8 cis 36 degrees and Z2 is 2 cis 15 degrees, can I calculate Z1 times Z2? Okay, so let me convert these into the usual way I think because I don't think particularly well on this cis thing. So I'm going to think about this as 8e to the i times 36 degrees. And I'm going to think about z2 as 2e i 15 degrees. Just go with this. OK, now multiplying z1 times z2 consists of what? Multiplying the stuff in green together, right? Like Z1 is that, so let me write that. And then I'm multiplying by 2, E to the I, 15 degrees. And now go forth and multiply, right? So one of the things you can multiply right off the bat. 8 and 2 is 16. And this is E, I, and now what do you do with the exponents there? Add them, right? So you got E I 36 degrees plus I 15 degrees. Okay, see that? And then you can factor out A or or just add. What do you get? I times I fifty one. So the I's combined, you get two I's. So do the eyes combine or not? Why not? This is 36 degrees eyes, right? If I forgot the degrees, that's like saying I've got 36 eyes and also 15 eyes. Right? So all told you have 51 eyes. Cool? You guys see that? That's it. So this is it, unless I want to rewrite it the way they gave it to me. If I want to rewrite it the way they gave it to me, it's 16 cis, what? 51 degrees. So this cis thing, right, is really just shorthand for e to the i, whatever the angle is. Right, it's like sine and i sine. Yeah, it's cosine plus i sine done to whatever angle it's in there. So should we try another one? Yes. Why is it that you don't get e squared? 16 volts. Ah, so I'm taking e to this power times e to that power. The powers, right, are counting how many of these I'm multiplying together. So here I've got 36 degrees i of e's multiplied together, and then some more e's. So I add the power. So let's try. Let's try the next one here, which is calculate the ratio. So I want to do Z1 over Z2. So how do you do Z1 over Z2? Okay. Throw the, throw the things in here, right? So I got 8EI 36 degrees over 2EI 15 degrees. And then all you have to do is remember how division works. Yeah, so you subtract the powers. So you'll get 4, right? Where did I get this 4? 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then I get EI 36 degrees minus I 15 degrees, which is 4 cis 21 degrees. You guys pull that? Question, steal? You want to see one more? Yeah? Okay. So say I wanted to cube one of these. The sister So say I wanted to do a Z2 cube. How would I cube Z2? Just write it Just write it down. Yeah, just write it down. So 2EI to 15 degrees cube. 
it. Okay, so then kind of distribute the power in, right? So you get 2 cubed E I. What happens here? 45. Add it together. 45. Yeah, 45, because you're multiplying I to the 15. I yeah. times 15 times 3. Multiply 15 times 3. Cool. So you get 8 cis 45 degrees. Cool. You guys with this? So cubing triples the angle and cubes the radius, right? You guys see that? Really, that's all I did. I took the radius, I cubed it, and then I tripled the angle. That's what makes complex arithmetic easier, right? So if you write them in polar, you can just kind of treat it like regular exponents, and it'll all be fine. Questions, concerns, feel? Okay.